What's going on YouTube, just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building Dom's 1968 Dodge Charger from the Fast and the Furious 7. Now to create this build we are going to be using the Beta Dukes and as you can see it looks pretty much spot on. Obviously there's going to be some minor differences because this is GTA 5, this isn't the real Dodge Charger, this is a Beta Dukes so it's an imitation Dodge Charger so it takes bits and pieces from different generations and maybe some other cars as well but this is the best car we have in the game to create this build in my opinion. There is also the Gauntlet Classic which you could use I suppose but uh, that's that's a little bit less like a Dodge Charger in my opinion whereas if you want to create this build as accurate as possible in GTA 5 the Beta Dukes is the one to grab. And as always we're going to start with 100% body armor then we went to the brakes and got the race brakes for the bumper. Front bumper we went and repaired the front bumper with a splitter. Next we got the engine, we went and got the level 4 engine upgrade. For the exhaust, we purchased the round exhausts. For the fenders, we went and repaired the fenders. For the grill, the crown grill was the best option for that. Then for the hood, we got the repaired stock hood. We skipped past the horn, the lights and the livery and also the louvers and the mirrors as well because the mirrors we have are perfect. The charger in the movie only has the one wing mirror which is the driver's side so this is spot on, exactly what we need. Also skipped past the plate and then we went down to the respray. In the primary colour we went into the metals category and purchased a brushed aluminium. Then for the secondary colour we also went into metals and purchased brushed aluminium. For the roll cage we went and got the street cage. Then for the roof we purchased the painted roof because it should come like this. With a vinyl roof, don't look too great so you want to go and purchase the painted roof. Then we skipped past the spoiler. For the suspension we went and got the competition suspension because it doesn't really drop all that much from stock as you can see. That's stock, that's competition. So I thought competition would have been perfect for this just because it doesn't drop all that much and I'd like to have it a little bit lower. So yeah, in my opinion competition suspension is the best way to go for that. For the transmission we went and got the race transmission and obviously turbo tuning. Then for the wheels guys, these are the best wheels on the game for this for this build in my opinion. I, I really couldn't find anything better. The stock wheels are actually pretty cool for this. I mean, if you prefer to have these, they would actually look really good. So personally, these look better, but movie accuracy, these are the ones you need. They're in low rider, they're called lead sled. There we go. Because that's how they come as stock. But once you purchase them, obviously you want to grab them in chrome. And then they look like this. Then we've got to go into the wheelie bar category and repair the rear bumper. And then to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So there you go my bros, there is Dom's 1968 Dodge Charger from the Fast and the Furious 7. Now like I said, this Beta Dukes is obviously supposed to be a Dodge Charger, a parody of a Dodge Charger inside of GTA 5. Um, you know, it does an amazing job. We've got a glitchy rear wheel there. <laughs> it does do an amazing job as a Dodge Charger. Um, like I said, we do have the Gauntlet Classic, which is kind of similar to a Dodge Charger as well, so that you could possibly use that for this build. But like I said, this is more accurate to uh, to the movie car, in my opinion. Um, it's got pretty much everything that you need. It's got the one driver's side wing mirror, like I said. The grille is very, very similar. If it didn't have that center partition in the grille, it would be perfect. Uh, then also you've got the color-coded splitter at the bottom, at the front there. Uh, the wheels are very very close and you've got the correct tailpipes as well so overall it is pretty much spot on in my opinion um, the rear tail lights are you know there's nothing we can do about that I mean the one from the movie they're, they're, they're rounded tail lights whereas obviously these are rectangular so but there's nothing we can do about that unfortunately um, everything else man is pretty much spot on I mean there's not really much else I can say about it the, the build's very very simple it shouldn't take you long as you can see I've created this video and explained and shown you every single thing we need for this car in a very short time so with that being said my dudes I hope you did enjoy this one if you did make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and until next time I'm out adios